Need directional light by a candle? Not a problem, not at all. Today, let's look at how easy this is. Now I love when somebody hits me up with an absolute good idea and my friend Tim Mullen messaged me the other day and he said, hey, you ever think about doing this? I was like, nope, never thought about doing that, but it's a great idea. He uses this in his shelter, if it's a lean-to or plow point all the time, to get good directional light so he can sit at night and read a book. And I think it's a brilliant idea. I'm at the yurt today and I'm using it to light up so I can look at a book while I'm hanging out here this evening. So I wanna show you the technique to use a bush pot. It has to be stainless steel though, and a candle. All I have here is just a bush pot. I'm gonna just set it down and then I'll take my candle, light it and I can place it inside. What this does then is gives me good directional light. This bush pot acts as a reflector. It's going to reflect that light forward, very controlled. Whereas if I would have my candle just out here, we get ambient light all around compared to directional light. So it's very easy. I love this. It's so simple. And we always have this stuff out in the field. So is that simple or what? When we're out in the field, we normally have a bush pot anyway with us. I carry a candle majority of the time in my fire kit light it up and we have very good directional light yet we can be under our covers and it's safe so if we do end up falling asleep worst case scenario we have hot wax in our bush pot best case scenario we have good directional light for the remainder of the night so i think it's a win-win situation so thanks tim for giving me that tip as always check us out over coldcrackerbushcraft.com and until next video stay in the woods guys